All right, guys, here we are back at Poshley Heights, thanks to the freaking warp pipe that we activated earlier. And yes, let's just go meet up with Gold Bob, get his permission, and then after that, we're gonna be going through eh, finding General White. If you guys are wondering why I'm sighing at that, for those who've never played this game, well, you'll see. You'll see why I'm sighing. <laughs> Good day to you, Gonzalez. What can I do for you today? What's that you say? You must use the cannon far outpost to save the world. Hmm, well, that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well then, I certainly owe you a favor or two, hmm? Yes, I should say. The truth is, I had hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday. Just between us, I only stopped because the wife says she couldn't. She didn't like the noise. Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so... I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If it were a matter of money, just how much would you pay, if I may ask? 64 coins, one coin, nothing, everything I have! You pay every coin you own? All of them? You're... Really? So... Really? <laughs> well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know what that means? You'll be left with zero coins, with absolutely nothing. You know that, do you? Yes. I mean, think of it, man. If you spend all your coins, and I mean all of them, you'd certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. Eh, hell no, I could just kill more enemies. Hold on, I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure, yes. You really take them all? Really? You won't say just kidding later on or any sort of jump ruler like that? Yes. <laughs> well, Alright then. Hmm, well you certainly show me something, sir. So, I give my permission for you to activate the Far Outpost Cannon. Hooray! Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How can I take your money? <laughs> it's a shame, I suppose, but I'll return your money. Now, soldier on, my boy. What's funny is that I didn't even have 64 coins. I only had 57. And that was my freaking email. Hang on real quick. Honestly, I find that... <laughs> it's kind of convenient that I got an email in the game and then somehow I got an email on my phone and... I don't know, I forgot to put it on vibrate. But that is some good timing right there, jeez. <laughs> I might actually leave that in there, screw it. But anyway, now that we have Gold Bob's permission, we gotta go looking for General White. Now I'm just gonna spoil it for any of those who forgot, but remember back in Chapter 1 when we saw that White bob -omb back in Petalburg? Yeah, it's that, that's General White. So just keep that in mind, head to the portal thing right here, the warp pipe, and head your way to Petalburg. And we just gotta be looking around. If I remember correctly, he was right here, but he's not here anymore. Or at least he's not the spot that he was standing in before. So what you gotta do is just talk to the NPCs and figure out where he's gone next. But yeah, if you didn't know about this, well, you're gonna find out soon enough. Huh? What's that? General White? Oh, he was here a while ago, but he said he was taking a trip, and then he left. Wait, hang on a sec. He did say something about a deserted island to the south. He was either going there, or not going there. <laughs> so he mentions a deserted island. The only island we know of is Keel Hall Key, so we're going to be making our way over there. And I'm not going to cut any of this out, because you guys got to get an idea of how long this is going to take. And this is me knowing what's going on right now, so... Uh, um, if this is your first time going through this game, maybe add about five, ten minutes, or not, well, maybe not five minutes, maybe like two or three. And then you'll figure out just like, that's like the average time it's taken anyone to like, go through this whole thing. So anyway, here we are back at Kill Hall Key, and I'm using Yoshi to speed up this whole process. I'm not cutting any of this out, just so you get an idea of like, why, just why. Go talk to this guy, General White. Yeah, he was here until a second ago. But he took off right quick, said he was going to an arena or something. So, of course, the only arena we know of is Glitzville. And there is no shortcut warp pipe back to Glitzville, so we have to go take the blimp again. And here's where the backtracking begins. At the very least, you start realizing, oh, this motherfucker. He's making me do this. He's really making me do this, and yes. <laughs> I don't know, like every time I've talked to Sire Goku, he just never, well he hasn't said like overly negative things about it, but I know he's just like, god damn it. 
Like, he doesn't... Well, a lot of people don't like it when the when games do this sort of thing. Or I don't know, maybe this game is like making fun of the whole backtracking thing in video games. But then again, I don't know how you make fun of something when you yourself are doing it. Look, I want to say it parodies it just because of what happens at the end. But you guys will see what I mean when the time comes. So anyway, I'm just making my way back to Glitzville and I want to get that guy's information. But I'm showing off just how fast, like the fastest possible like amount of time you could do this in well my my version of the fastest possible time it's a rough estimate sort of I know I'm sure there's people out there that could do this way faster than I could but I'm just talking about stuff of course there was Luigi right there and let's just keep on going on I'm feeling tired all right Trying to skip this as fast as I possibly can. You guys hear me? I'm mashing the button. Skip it! Skip it! I don't know. <laughs> oh man. At least with this new computer that I got, or the one I. or at least this computer I built, I don't have to worry about space anymore. I mean, it's got like a completely fresh one terabyte hard drive. Not to mention, like, I have the operating system installed on, like, a solid state drive, so it's running a lot quicker than if I installed it on a hard drive. But anyway, since I already know what I'm doing here, I'm just showing off where you gotta go and what NPCs to talk to. General White? Oh, you mean that my White bob -omb, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time. I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree. Or not. So, of course, the only huge tree you know is the Boggly Woods. So now we have to use this blimp all over again. And I don't know why I have to keep showing off my ticket when you know I don't know how else I could have gotten here. You know what I didn't think about that? If they have to check your ticket even when you're here on Glitzville, it's just like, wow, that's just terrible. Imagine if you lost your ticket while on, Gl on Glitzville. That would freaking suck. It's just like, let me see your ticket. Uh, it kind of fell off on the edge and into the uh, back down to the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, you're shit out of luck. Guess you're stuck here in Glitzville for the rest of your freaking life. <laughs> That's kind of morbid in a way, but eh, I don't know. Screw it. So, of course, now we have to make our way back to the Boggly Woods. But there is a warp pipe that we could use. The exact same one that's just like right there. Ugh, sorry. Kinda yawning when I was talking. The one that's right there near the Pedalberg one. Just gonna avoid the freaking hammer, bro. I haven't even got their information yet, but I'll get that after all this is over and done with. So yeah, I'm not cutting out any of this at all. Yoshi knuckles nipples. <laughs> Nipples the goddamn enchilada. Mm, hello there, Boggly Woods, the most forgettable chapter of this whole game. Well, in my opinion, it is anyway. I mean, sure, it introduces the x Knots to Mario and all that, but other than that, I'm like, can't really remember much else out of it. And General White? Yeah, he's an old bob with his great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. Twilight Town, everybody! But then again, since the warp pipe leading to Twilight Town is practically right there, of course they wouldn't have made a warp pipe right before it. Only for the ones that are kind of out of the way. Sort of. Kind of. Uh, so much of the backtracking. So yeah, General White is kind of leading us on right now. It's just like, yeah, you want to find me. But you can't. <laughs> God friggin' damn it! I'm gonna bother cutting these out. Actually, now that I think about it, I never got Magic Koopa's info. Alright. Keep adding to the time, but screw it, I'm just gonna find their information. There we go. It's a Magic Koopa, you know, Koopa Wizard. HP 7, attack 4, defense 0. It'll throw a load of pain our way while using magic to help its buddies. What a creep. When there's only one of them, it splits up into multiple copies to mess with us. Stop this thing faster, we'll be in a world of hurt. Of course we will. And hell no, I'm not gonna waste the shooting star. 
I was gonna waste the show stopping. <laughs> so yeah, disregard this in terms of time. Why? A A B Y. Y A Y B. <laughs> Yay, B B. X B X X X X. X B porn A. Y B X X X B Y. Y B porn. B Y. <laughs> oh, this is no nonsensical shit. Yeah, 2 SP equals 6 star points, because why the hell not? I don't even know how many coins. Oh man, something tells me I'm gonna boost the fuck out of Showstopper. I really shouldn't get used to it, otherwise I'm just gonna get all rusty. There we go. Oh yeah, this is the whole bad thing about this whole thing. Uh, it's not that bad. I'm just saying. I want to say it's kind of entertaining in a way. Though it is kind of... It feels tedious. Slightly. Though tedious doesn't necessarily mean bad. It's tedious in a funny way. If that makes any sense. Alright, I believe you have to talk to this guy over here. Huh? General White? Yeah, I know that old guy. He's a white bomb, right? He was here until recently. Where did he go? What am I, a secretary? You look tired, I know that. So now, we can finally return to Far Outpost. And yes, I'm still including this, because it's still part of the whole backtracking process. Though it's not as bad considering Far Outpost is just like right freaking here. And if I use Yoshi, Yoshi just right, I can just avoid every single enemy on the way back to Far Outpost. Alright, Yoshi, don't let me down. Show me them crazy ass evasive skills. Or not. Just screw it. No, don't even bother. Don't even bother me, man. And there's that guy right there. Go ahead. Spring jump. Or spin jump. You know what I meant. There we go. Round town, do six damage for me, Yoshi. Yeah. How you like me now, sir? Ah, uh, fucking course. But at least I can hit you with the hammer. That much I'm thankful for. And the uh, thing about it, I think I still have the ice power badge on. I mean, sure, it doesn't hinder me against these guys, but I'm kind of wasting BP as a result. Oh god, so many folks. All right, I'm out of here. Oh, God! Freaking damn it. I'm trying to avoid these guys, and it turns out I'm just not even bothering to avoid them at all, apparently. Get rid of this guy, because he got the dizzy guy. And I wonder who else is going to show off. Well, Flurry. I wonder. Will Gale Force be of any useful usefulness here? There we go, get them out of here. And we still get experience with them. Alright, so Flurry, you were a showstopper before showstopper was a showstopper. That makes plenty of sense. So you're not that useless. Though you don't help me out as much as Yoshi would right now. <laughs> okay. Yes. Ah, the frustration is running through my veins. He just runs through my veins. I don't know. Just gonna go back and forth like this. Avoid these guys. Holy shit. Don't even bother. Just don't even freaking bother. And I get an email. I'll check it later. I don't have time. I'm running on the clock right now, man. God damn it. I'm starting to get sick again, aren't I? Anyway, right here. We finally found the motherfucker! Seems to be asleep! Wake him up? Yes! He's still asleep! Try again? Yes! Still sound asleep! He's definitely still asleep! He's still saw logs! Couldn't be more asleep! He's counting sheep! 
He won't. Nope. Still asleep. Sleeping like a stash baby. It's not even budging. He's still snoring away. This <laughs> is. It's finally over. Now, who are you? I'm tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep, as it is all hopeless. Huh? That mustache, that hat, and that hammer, even. But I've been looking everywhere for you. Why? Well, to bring that cannon back outline. Lost my life's work, my very reason to live. Found myself at wit's end, and then the rogue port fortune teller told me. Seek the man with the red M hat, the one with the hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dreams. Or something like that. What? You need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip hip hurrah! This is... That fortune teller was right! So what are we waiting for? I shall get the cannon ready, so go tell the mayor. Now get moving, hut hut. At least you don't have bombing automatopias in your freaking text, so... There's that to take... That's... There's that I'm thankful for. Cannon's back online? Well, I could just explode with delight. Now let us shoot you guys to moon. Yeah, we did it, Gonzalez. Now you follow me. You come this way. Aw, oh, yeah. Now we're about to head off to the moon in the most epic fashion possible. At the very least, in my opinion, the most awesome way possible. So before that, I'm actually going to switch to Bobbery for now. Considering the enemies we're going to be facing soon, yeah, it's probably in your best interest to have Bobbery on hand. Now you stand here. General White, is, beam bomb, is Big Bomb Cannon ready? But leave it to me. Now, men, you know the drill. Load the Big Bomb Cannon. Now, positions, everyone. Bring guidance system online. Bringing system online. System now online. System check. System check, all clear. Prepare for detonation sequence. Open outer hatch. Open inner shutter. Elevate, on my mark. Sighting, target is the moon. Direction 75.38, elevation 54.66, range 389603. Wind speed 1.08, correct elevation 13.03, correct elevation negative 2.39. Target locked. Chamber hatch open. Now, everyone in. Close chamber hatch. is all green stand by okay it is time big bomb cannon fire
Good luck, Mario.